Hello, it's Raining Plum Bobs back with another video. So today I am doing a Kaz video, as you can probably tell. Uh, the idea for this sim was that she was kind of like a rebel slash criminal. Um, so that's pretty much what I made her. I mean, I gave her the uh, the like criminal aspiration. Don't know the specific name, but it's basically like the criminal one. I think it's like dastardly or something. And then her traits is that she's like romantic, a kleptomaniac, and um, I think that's how you pronounce that, by the way, also. And then also she's, I'm forgetting the last one. It's something bad, though. But um, yeah, she took me like 50, 20 minutes, 20 minutes or so. Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what I wanted her hair to be, simply because I just downloaded like a bunch of new CC. And so I didn't really know what I wanted to use from that. But I end up going with a pretty nice one. I think it looks nice with on her. And I also gave her purple hair because I feel like, I don't know. I feel like the stereotypical rebellious person has like colorful hair and a bunch of tattoos and whatever. Even though those aren't really rebellious things. But I mean, that's just what I gave her. Just kind of. I don't know, sticking with the uh, conformity or whatever. I don't know what it is. But I probably should, like, do different characters. I like doing backstories for my sims because it makes them feel, like, more realistic and whatever. This girl was also kind of, like, mildly based around, like, university and things. I don't know. I've been really thinking about that a lot simply because I've been playing The Sims 3. And I just really, I love university. And I really want University in The Sims 4. Because I like, I wish sometimes that like someone made like a, a mod that was basically The Sims 3, but the graphics were The Sims 4. And I know that that'd be like impossible practically. That's so difficult. But I don't know. I just like, I like the gameplay and everything and the building about this in The Sims 3, but I like The Sims 4 graphics. So it'd be interesting if they could, like, transfer that and kind of just merge the two. That'd probably be, like, Sims 5, though, so. I don't know if they're making Sims 5. I hope they do, though. I mean, it's hard to even imagine what the next, like, Sims version will look like until you're actually there, and then you're like, oh, that kind of makes sense. You know, everything fits together. But I don't know, it's kind of, it's fun to imagine it, kind of figure out what would Sims 5 look like or whatever, if they're even making it. It probably wouldn't be until like 2020 or so, because I mean, Sims 4 has so much like ex room for expansion and everything. So I feel like they want to build on what they already have rather than create something new. I don't know. I don't have all of the Sims 3 expansions I have Ambitions, Pets, University, uh, Generations, and Late Night. I want Seasons next because I hear good things about Seasons. So I think I'm probably going to get Seasons next. I also want Island Paradise, but I was watching a review about it and they were like, yeah, it's not that great. I mean, it's good, but it's, it's not really that much. Because, I mean, I would like to do a Sims 3 Let's Play. So what I buy for my next expansion in The Sims 3, I want it to be uh, important for the Let's Play. And I feel like I don't want to do an Island Paradise Let's Play. I want to do a University one, but the si I feel like I have the limited edition version of the University. So Seasons will actually be visible in University, which is cool. And so I feel like I might as well get that and then we can kind of you know, play with that within the Let's Play. I don't know, though. Just kind of figuring it all out. The Let's Play probably won't come out for a little while, but just kind of thinking about it already. This is the hair that we end up going with for this sim. Um, Yeah, this is when she kind of starts to really form. We start doing her outfits. I didn't do, I didn't show you guys her formal wear and everything else just because if I did, this video would be much too long. Kaz videos, I feel like they can be, like, around, like, 6 to 10 minutes at most. I don't know if people like dwelling on one sim for, like, 20 minutes, you know? So I just kind of, I did, like, the first outfit. 
but I think depending on like which episode you're watching sometimes I'll do all her outfits sometimes I'll do some of the outfits just kind of depends on the day and what I'm feeling like and how long the video is taken but yeah this is the shirt we also end up going with but the pants they actually end up being shorts because I don't know I feel like I feel like she's a short type of person not short like short speaking of short I know that there is a height slider mod but the sims should really invest in making their own like because I feel that's like crucial sims shouldn't all be the same height humans aren't all the same height I feel like that should be like something that just comes in a patch update maybe it's that definitely would not be something that comes in like a stuff pack or something but yeah all in all pretty cool EA is doing a good job with everything uh, I'm just doing the final details of this sim the video is almost over we only have like 43 more seconds left not anymore though because seconds go by really quickly but uh, I did end up doing her makeup I always like do makeup last because I think makeup should like match the outfit but not to the point where it's like purple shirt purple eyeliner you know that's not cute but yeah anyways videos over if you liked it press the like button and comment and subscribe and do the things that I'm telling you to do because you know that's fun and nice so goodbye guys